I built a Markov chain based pattern creator or graph network maker. And uh, it actually uses this transition matrix. Markov chains are probabilistic transition matrices where uh, the rows represent the current state and each one of the columns represent the percentage chance that uh, whatever it says in the labels of the row will happen. And uh, for each juncture, for example, for each extension of this network, uh, these probabilities come into play and whatever they decide, for example, branching left, branching right, or branching both, uh, or to grow straight actually happens. So it is an auto mode, which what we are currently running, you can zoom in and out and experience it in all its glory. Uh, this is pretty cool stuff. You can actually turn off the auto mode and it just all these uh, settings yourself. Uh, there is symmetric growth with uh, which actually switches on or off with auto mode. Color transition and node animations are uh, whatever you set. Auto mode actually will follow it. You can also assign uh, custom prob uh, probabilities to the growth, uh, the transition matrix. And when you turn off the auto mode, you can just click on restart and keep getting uh, as many, you know, new shapes as you like. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. There's also a learn page where it explains what a Markov chain, Markov chain is. It says this is a mathematical model that describes a sequence of events where the probability of transitioning uh, to the next state depends only on the current state. By the way, the uh, project files for this is, will be available uh, at my Patreon. The uh, link will be in the description or in the comment, depending on uh, where you're watching this from. So uh, if you do decide to become a patron, you will have access to uh, 500 other applications that I built over the years and uh, also exclusive videos and weekly meetings. Anyway, so Markov chain uh, actually depends on the current state probabilistically and not the sequence of events that preceded it. This is called the Markov property or memorylessness. So each one of the uh, rows actually represent the current state. So if, for example, we have a branch that's branching right, then in the next step, you can grow straight by 35%, for example, or 20% branches left, 25% branches right, 5% chance it pauses. So this actually explains uh, some of the stuff. Let's go back to the auto mode and turn on the color transitions. You can select from different shapes. Uh, and whether you zoom in or does it remain zoomed out actually determines. And I like the complexity. It's kind of fascinating to watch. Really, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. Take a look at Markov chains, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with, it, with them, it seems. All right, everybody, thank you, and see you in the next video.